welcome to science easy tech channel in this video we are going to discuss about validity of research tool one of our subscriber named divi kutty she has asked with regard to validity and reliability in research tool so like that many subscribers have also requested for validity and reliability um video so this video is exclusively for validity reliability video i will be posting in my next video so this is taken from uh, unit 5 uh, that is uh, methods and tools of data collection uh, and uh, this video is useful for bsc nursing students post basic bsc nursing students and students who are studying msc nursing so this video is taken from the subject nursing research and statistics before moving on to the topic if you are new to science easy tech channel just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates let's move on to the topic validity of research tool mostly they will be asking validity and reliability in 5 marks so they combinedly they will be asking or sometimes only validity they will be asking in 5 marks or only reliability they will be asking in 5 marks so if they are asking combinedly write this notes as well as the notes what i am going to post in my next video that is reliability combine it and write it or uh, sometimes they will be asking in two marks what are the different types of validity so that time you have to list out the types of validity so let's see what is validity of research tool introduction to validity validity is a property of an inference so it is a property of an inference your valid tool should only measure what it is supposed to measure example a thermometer is supposed to measure only the temperature a spigmo manometer is supposed to measure only the blood pressure so validity means it is a property of an inference your valid tool should only measure what it is supposed to measure for example if you are taking thermometer you can tell that thermometer very well measures the temperature okay similarly when you are taking a bp apparatus you know it measures what it measures the blood pressure so moving on to definition of validity validity refers to an instrument or test actually testing what it's supposed to be testing so validity it refers to an instrument the instrument can be a questionnaire an interview a scale checklist a pain scale or anything like that it can be in any methods of data collection we have seen no rating scale like a scale like that and all anything so validity refers to an instrument or test actually testing what it supposed to be test testing okay what it is supposed to test if the instrument suppose if you want to uh, assess the attitude of uh, patients on hiv aids um so that time you have to formulate a yeah, likert scale which will be suitable for hiv patients uh, attitude you are going to assess okay so validity refers to an instrument or test actually testing what it supposed to be testing so validity refer this definition was given by trees and trees next the definition given by polit and hungler which is a standard book for nursing research and statistics um, validity refers to the degree to which an instrument measures what it supposed to measure validity refers to the degree to which an instrument measures what it is supposed to measure this definition was given by polit and hungler moving on to the types of validity you have six main types of validity first one phase validity content validity construct validity predictive validity concurrent validity criteria related va validity okay phase validity content validity construct validity um, predictive validity concurrent validity criteria related validity so in short you can use an acronym fp c4 so f is for phase validity p is for predictive validity c c you have four okay one c is for content validity one c is for construct validity one c is for 
concurrent validity and one c is for criterion related validity so that totally you have six types of validity f f p c4 or whichever is convenient according to that you can keep an acronym phase validity predictive validity content validity construct validity concurrent validity criterion related validity so phase content construct predictive concurrent criterion related validity these are the types of validity let us see each type in detail phase validity this involves an overall look of an instrument regarding its appropriateness to measure a particular attribute or phenomena it is a subtype of content validity example to assess pain level measure if you are going to use some verbal rating scale where you will be rating the pain uh, from 1 to 10 so pain scale so by seeing yourself uh, what the instrument you have taken is correct uh, what uh, measure you have taken that is visual analog scale or pain rating scale anything that uh, will be assessing the pain so you are doing a study on pain assessment of pain level so the instrument what you have taken that is pain rating scale is appropriate so by seeing itself you can tell okay she has taken the correct uh, uh, instrument to measure the thing similarly when you are framing a questionnaire when you are framing a questionnaire on a uh, knowledge uh, uh, on a uh, hypertension so when we are seeing the questions itself not we are not going to go in depth uh, in, uh, into the question so by seeing itself everything you each and every question you are relating to hypertension means so okay the content what you have taken is appropriate so that is called as phase validity similarly an example a liquor scale is designed to measure the attitude of nurses toward the patients admitted with hiv or aids a liquor scale is designed to measure the attitude of nurses towards the patients admitted with hiv or aids in that uh, likert scale you have to have um, to, you have to have statements which are framed in order to assess the attitude of the nurses towards the patients who have been admitted with hiv or aids so the content should be related to hiv or aids the attitude of nurses so when you are seeing itself just similarly when you are when you are uh, writing answers when we are correcting also by uh, seeing itself before uh, going in depth reading just when we are seeing itself you know whether you have written the correct answer or not for example the same question if it is coming in examination validity so uh, just when we are seeing itself okay they have written some definition with regard to validity then uh, types if you are writing correctly so oh, the question is appropriate the answer is appropriate then we will be going in depth reading up suppose uh, Uh, when we are uh, start the starting itself uh, you are putting types of reliability and you are writing internal consistency reliability stability like that and all if you are writing this question is inappropriate so by seeing itself you know the answer is inappropriate then we will search that way anywhere some uh, related points are there if not no we will be giving one mark or zero mark like that and we go off okay so that is phase validity a liquor scale is designed to measure the attitude of nurses towards the patients admitted with hiv aids is one example one more example is if you want to assess the pain level the measure what you are going to take that is the instrument what you are going to take is uh, instrument means it is a tool but don't think it's an apparatus like thermometer or bp paper like that it's a tool even a questionnaire can be an instrument for measurement okay verbal rating scale okay so from 1 to 10 you can ask the patient to measure rate the pain experiences next is content validity so content validity this is concerned with the scope of coverage of the content area to be measured it is applied in test of knowledge measurement the content should be adequate appropriate and complete so previous researchers and experts opinion was considered for content validity so when we are doing a research you will be asked to to go for content validity so if you are doing a research based on medical surgical nursing from medical surgical nursing uh, experts as well as in the field of medicine doctors uh, as well as uh, you have to take up uh, with related to your study the uh, subject experts will be there no from them you have to show your uh, data tool uh, data collection tool and you have to get the opinion uh, that is called as content validity so they will be seeing whether you have written everything whether uh, some points have been missed or not whether it is appropriate complete adequate that and all they will be checking and they will be showing so that's why content validity if you want to get you have to get the opinion from the experts after framing the tool so this and all you will be doing now itself you are doing but uh, in uh, msc level uh, 
PhD level, MP level, and all you have to do it. Content validity experts, nursing, not only nursing experts, even from medical experts. Suppose your uh, um, thing is uh, with regard to some psychological uh, issues, then you have to get from uh, psychologist, uh, psychiatrist, like that and all. Okay, so so from concerned experts, you have to get. They will be seeing whether the content you have given is appropriate, adequate, and uh, complete according to the level what you have taken, what research you have taken. For example, a depression measure should cover the checklist of depression symptoms. So, all the depression uh, symptoms and all should be there. If something is missing also, the experts like uh, psychologists uh, or psychiatrists uh, or uh, psychiatric nursing uh, personnel. So, they will be telling so that you can modify your tool also. Next is construct validity. Construct validity, this is concerned with the questions the concept under investigation being adequately measured is there a valid basis for inferring the scores evidence of construct validity is not established with a single study variables like anxiety creativity job satisfaction attitude towards numerous phenomena intelligence empathy dependency power self concept etc or all constructs so when you have formulated a tool whether this uh, constructs are included according to the study not all these variables what i have told if you are studying anxiety uh, level whether the questions are appropriate uh, in assessing the anxiety level whether the checklist is appropriate in assessing the anxiety level okay like that uh, uh, the instru the instrument will have all the data with regard to the particular phenomena what you are taking so construct validity this is concerned with the questions the concept under investigation being adequately measured or not is there a valid basis for inferring the scores or results so evidence of construct validity with only one thing you cannot tell that a particular question will assess the anxiety level so so many studies previous studies are uh, and all you have to refer while you are formulating the tool so that whether you have adequately included all those aspects into your data collection instrument or tool that they will be checking some of the variables are like anxiety creativity job satisfaction attitude towards numerous phenomena intelligence empathy dependency power self-concept etc are all your constructs Next is predictive validity. This refers to the adequacy of an instrument in predicting performance or behavior of individuals on some future criteria. For example, if you have framed an admission test. So, if the student is going to score good results in that admission test, definitely the student will be, will be a top scorer in the forthcoming examinations or in the four years program like that. So, this refers to the adequacy of an instrument in predicting future performance of a, an individual based on some criteria. For example, how well does the admission test predict the future performance of the student? How well you are, you are taking an admission test? So, in the questions, how it is going to be constructed so that it can determine the future performance of the individual. Suppose the uh, student who is scoring more marks, definitely he, he or she will be a bright student and he will be scoring more marks in the future also. Suppose if the student is not performing well in the admission test, definitely the student will be a slow learner like that. So the ability of one measure to predict the future measure of the same concept. So here we are assessing the academic performance by means of admission test which is going to have an influence on the future performance in the academics of the student. So the ability of one measure to predict another future measure of the same concept. So predictive validity this refers to the adequacy of an instrument in predicting performance or behavior of individuals on some future criteria. Example how well does the admission test predict the future performance of the student. The ability of one measure to predict another future measure of the same concept. Next is concurrent. Concurrent means simultaneous. Concurrent validity. This refers to an instrument's ability to differentiate individuals who change on a present criteria. Okay. So, this refers to an instrument's ability to differentiate individuals who change on a present criteria. It involves concurrent that is simultaneous measurement of the scale being validated. 
so it involves concurrent that is simultaneous measurement of the scale being validated example a psychological test which is used to differentiate between those patients in a mental institution who can be released or who cannot be released could be correlated with current behavioral rating of healthcare personnel so how the healthcare personnel's attitude or behavior towards the person who are admitted in a mental hospital who are going to be discharged and who cannot be discharged so whether the attitude is same whether the behavior of the healthcare personnel is same with patients who can be discharged or the patients who cannot be discharged so you are simultaneously you are checking okay the attitude or the behavior rating of the healthcare personnel with the patients who who are going to be discharged and who cannot be discharged so simultaneously at the same time you are you are studying the instrument is able to differentiate individuals who change on a present criteria so measure, it is what a concurrent means simultaneous measurement of the scale being validated so this is with regard to concurrent validity next we will see criteria related validity criteria related validity this checks the performance of the tool or measure against some criteria so you are checking the performance of the tool against a certain predetermined criteria in criteria related validity a prediction is made about how the tool will perform based on our theory of the construct so this criteria related validity it includes both construct validity and uh, predictive validity so this checks the performance of the tool or measure against some predetermined criteria in criterion related validity a prediction is made about how the tool will be performing based on our theory of the construct based on how you have formulated the tool example the instrument measuring anxiety state is said to be valid if the anxiety scores correlate with some criteria such as a person how we are telling so anxiety scale you have formulated suppose a person is appearing for examination definitely he or she will be anxious but uh, uh, for easy subjects the anxiety level will be very less only but for more difficult subject the anxiety level will be more okay so the instrument measuring anxiety state is said to be valid if the anxiety scores correlate with some criteria such as person who are known to be anxious example students prior to difficult examination would be expected to have high scores on the anxiety scale students prior to difficult examination would be expected to have high scores on the anxiety scale compared to that of examinations which are very easy okay only with difficult examination the anxiety level will go up okay compared to other exams hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel as i have told earlier my next video will be on reliability so this video has given you a detailed explanation about validity and its types which is more than enough for five marks question usually they will be asking in five mark question if they are asking only types of validity it will be coming for two marks question okay so in two mark question just they will be asking you to list down the types just list down the names of the thing okay so if you have any doubts fee please feel free to post your doubts in comment section my previous videos link i have given in description box as well as suggested in card and i card also you can watch our channel playlist for more videos keep supporting to science easy tech channel